Hello everyone, my name is Ksenia and I'm an application specialist in BioVitrum company. We continue our videos about histological studies. After processing, embedding and sectioning, we have to stain the tissue to observe its structure using light microscopy. One of the most popular and principal stains in histology is hematoxylin and azine stain. It gives us an overview of the tissue and its structure. Hematoxylin binds with basophilic components of the tissue, for example DNA and RNA, so we can observe nuclei stained in blue or purple color. Azine binds with acidophilic substances, such as positively charged amino acid side chains, so as a result the cytoplasm is pink or orange. All the samples in laboratory are stained with this method. There are several different types of hematoxylins and azines, and they can give us different results. The result of the staining can vary depending on many factors, including quality of solutions, type of tissue, protocols of the prior steps, and even quality, salinity and pH of water used in the lab. That's why there is no universal protocol which can be used everywhere. The protocol should be validated according to your specific conditions. Moreover, different pathologists have different preferences, and the results of the staining should satisfy them. Today we will stain slides with different types of hematoxylins and aerosins and different time of exposition, and then we will compare the results. The first step is the vaccine in xylene solution, three times for three, four minutes. Then rehydration in alcohol solution. We use isopropanol. Ethanol can also be used. Then we wash slides in distilled water. After that, we stain slides with hematoxylin. We use Myers hematoxylin and the exposition is 5, 8 and 10 minutes respectively. Then we wash slides in tapped water. At the next stage, we stain slides with azine. We use an azin aqueous solution and keep in it preparations for 3 and 5 minutes respectively. In azin alcoholic solution, the staining lasts for 30, 60 and 90 seconds. After that, we wash slides, dehydrate in alcohol, clear in xylene and cover slip using embedding medium. Now they can be studied under the microscope. So now you can see that the result can be different according to reagents you use and the time of exposition in every solution. Try to conduct the same experiment in your lab and you will be able to find the perfect staining protocol for your conditions and for pathologists you are working with. Ask questions, write in comments. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon. Thank you.